Okay, let's uh, solve today's coding question, 824, Goat Latin. Um, as you can see, the question is quite long. It doesn't get a lot of likes because nobody likes uh, reading comprehension questions when they think they are getting a, a coding question, I guess. So, uh, but, but the question is easy. So the, all we need to do is pretty much just read through it and understand what's asking, what it is asking, and don't make stupid mistakes. So the question reads, a sentence S is given, composed of words separated by spaces. Each word consists uh, of lowercase and uppercase letters only. We would like to convert the sentence into Good Latin. And the rules of uh, this uh, Good Latin language are as follows. If the word begins with a vowel, we append MA to the end. If the word begins with a constant, uh, we shuffle the first letter to the end and then add MA. So no matter which case it is, we always have to add MA. If it's constant, uh, if the words start with constant, uh, we have uh, one extra work to do to shuffle the first letter to the end. And uh, no matter which case it is, um, the word belongs to, we have to append uh, some numbers of uh, letter A to the end of the word depends on the word index in a sentence. So if it's a first word, we add one A. If it's a second word, we add two A's. So we have to return the uh, final sentence uh, that's been converted by according to these rules. So the example we have here, I speak Latin. The first uh, uh, word is I. So we add MA and just one A because it's the first word. The third word is la a goat. Uh, we shuffle the G because it's constant to the end, uh, append MA and add three A's because gold is the third word in this sentence. So the uh, solution, is, uh, the strategy of solving this is to basically um, split the, the words by looking at the spaces and for each of the word we apply this transformation and in the end we uh, stitch uh, all the transform words transform the words together uh, and return that uh, whole string so in terms of uh, complexity um, it's it's a clear linear time algorithm because uh, the um, when we're separating the words out we just do one linear scan to find the spaces and just uh, chop the sentence into pieces the st big string into little pieces when we do this um, word transformation, we check the first location and append, append MA, or we can do the shuffling. Um, so either one of these is uh, linear time. And with res respect to the word, so as a whole, because we are processing word individually, um, the, the this processing it, it, in total, will we'll still be linear uh, with respect to the length of the sentence. And uh, again, in, in the end, uh, the, when we piece together the strings together, uh, it's, uh, it's a linear time as well. So that's uh, pretty much we, we are going through the string three times, but uh, you know the constant is, um, uh, it, it, we basically drop that. So it, it's still a linear whisper in terms of time complexity. Uh, in terms of space, uh, we need to separate or we need to store the individual words. Um, so that's uh, that's also linear um, with respect to the uh, total length of the input string. And we actually need more more than that for the because the, uh, with the number of words growing, uh, the number of A's we append to that is uh, uh, it's growing. But um, generally speaking, I think it's a uh, proportional linear linearly proportional to the length of the input uh, sentence. So that's the time and space complexity I, I have in my head. Um, so let's code this thing up. So uh, basically, we, we just return the um, we uh, we have a like a transform function transform word, and we need the index to know how uh, how to process it uh, for word uh, the index uh, no, the the other way around I word. Let's split. Split the 
by default we split by the empty strings by the space and we start with index zip one um, so that's uh, gonna be the man processing logic uh, the 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 man man part um, we chop the sentence into individual words and uh, um, adding some index information uh, zipping the info uh, index information with the individual words and we will apply this transformation to the word and in the end we um, piece together all the transformed words uh, all it remains is to uh, code this transformation function which take a word and the index uh, so if the 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 first letter character is a is a is a valve so uh, what we need to do is to append ma to it um, but if it's a constant uh, we should remove the first letter app and append it to the end and also then add ma so basically so what we, no matter which case it is uh, we always have to um, append ma and also uh, the the number of a's um, depends on the word index so that's that's uh, no matter which whether it's a, a vowel or it's a constant it, it start with a vowel or you start with constant this this uh, this thing is uh, what we need to do um, the only only thing only extra work if uh, is that if the word is not uh, starts with uh, a, a vowel sound uh, we should shuffle the first uh, letter to the to the to the end plus word zero and for the vowels uh, we will just have a set uh, set so that uh, we get a constant time lookups Otherwise, we will have. Uh, um, if we just directly checking whether uh, this thing is in the string AIOU, then it will be uh, order of uh, ten. But if we have a set, it's an order of one. But the order of ten is still constant. If you can argue for that. So this should be the uh, solution. Yep, uh, yep, it works. Uh, so that's it for today.